Let us sing to the Lord, for he has gloriously triumphed. For he has gloriously triumphed. The Lord is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and living God, let us feel your compassion more readily during these days when by your gift we have known it more fully. So that those you have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, Get up and head south on the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza, the desert route. So he got up and set out. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of the Candace, that is, the queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of her entire treasury, who had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the, the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Philip, go and join up with that chariot. Philip ran up and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and said, you understand what you are reading? He replied, how can I, unless someone instructs me? So he invited Philip to get in and sit with him. This was the scripture passage he was reading. Like a sheep he was led to the slaughter, and as a lamb before its shearer is silent, so he opened not his mouth. And his humiliation justice was denied him. Who will tell of his posterity, for his life is taken from the earth? Then the eunuch said to Philip in reply, I beg you, about whom is the prophet saying this? About himself or about someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth, and beginning with the scripture passage, he proclaimed Jesus to him. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, Look, there is water. What is prevent, to prevent me from being baptized? Then he ordered the chariot to stop, and Philip and the eunuch both went down to the water, and he baptized him. When they came out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away, and the eunuch saw him no more, but continued on his way rejoicing. Philip came to Ozotus and went about proclaiming the good news to all the towns until he reached Caesarea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Bless our God, you peoples. Loudly sound his praise. He has given life to our souls and has not let our feet slip. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. When I appear, appealed to him in words, praise was on the tip of my tongue. Blessed be God who refused me not, my prayer or his kindness. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. <clears throat> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, no one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I get to be excited today and yesterday because my name is mentioned in... Scripture, it's mentioned in the Mass. We're talking about uh, the deacon Philip. So this isn't the Apostle Philip, but uh, 
Um, it's a deacon, one of the deacons that was picked out by uh, the apostles. And this is what they did. They went around and they preached the name of Christ. They tried to bring others in. And Peter was guided by Christ, and, uh, you know, by the heart of Christ, by the Spirit, uh, to talk to this eunuch, to reach out to him. And look what happens. He changes his life forever. He baptizes him. I mean, he sends him on. And now this eunuch can go back to his homeland rejoicing in Christ and spreading the name of Christ. Who knows how far the name of Christ spread just because of this one encounter. Never underestimate the encounter, or, or I mean, never underestimate an encounter with Christ. Never underestimate a simple encounter and what that can do in the world. Something as simple as somebody coming up and saying, hey, you know, I know that you're Catholic. Tell me more about that. Or, hey, what's up with this Eucharist? Or, hey, what's up with this Jesus guy? Simple encounters like that can change the world. They already have. Right? You don't have to wonder, oh, you know, will this actually mean anything? All we have to do is look at Scripture, look at the Acts of the Apostles, and look at how the faith blew up because of simple encounters like this. So if we learn anything from this, this journey through the Acts of the Apostles, this journey through the Easter season, we should burn it, let it be burnt into our hearts that any kind of encounter that the Lord wishes us to have with another person is something that could be a wellspring, a, a deep chasm of faith in the world. Something that could cause the faith to ignite and spread like a bushfire throughout the entire world. O oh God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in the sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant us, we pray, that we, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O oh Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more. The lamb once slain lives forever. Therefore, overcome a past with joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers of the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Carl, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by my teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, <clears throat> and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Christ died for all, that those who live may look no longer may live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and is risen. Alleluia. Our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Alleluia. Let us pray. <clears throat> Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those who have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life, through Christ our Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and have a wonderful day.